Hello friends, welcome to my channel Azure Diary. Myself Mohit Gupta. So in this video, we are going to discuss about uh, Azure Logic App. So in this video, we will discuss how to create a HTTP uh, trigger logic app, and then we will discuss how to integrate Azure Logic App with Azure SQL. First, I am going to create one resource group. I'm going to add one SQL server and uh, then I'm going to add uh, one database So for, so for testing purpose, I'm just create, uh, taking the basic version of database. It may take few minutes uh, in creating of uh, SQL Server and database. So our SQL Server are ready. So let's create one table. Provide the password. So first time it it got secured with uh, uh, the network uh, network firewall rule. So you need to add your IP address so that you can access uh, the query editor from your local from your browser. So this is your IP address, and I'm going to add this into the firewall rules. Go to the SQL Server and go to the net firewall and virtual network. this I'm going to add I'm also uh, giving it access so that it logic app should be able to access this now I can now I can access the query editor Now I am going to create one table. So this is my table script.
so table got created so now I'm going to create one logic app first I'm going to create one logic app with HTTP trigger so that when we call that HTTP endpoint so whatever the uh, data we will pass uh, it will uh, logic app will save that data into the SQL server so I'm going to create logic app with post So logic app got created now I'm going I'm taking the blank logic app and I'm going to add the HTTP trigger one HTTP request is received so in this uh, request body JSON scheme schema I'm specifying the type of schema it will it can accept so this is a post and here I'm going to this is my sample JSON here you can specify the sample JSON so that it will create it schema automatically so this request can accept your uh, HTTP Now let's connect uh, this logic app to the SQL server. We are using SQL server authentication. So we have to check uh, what is our SQL server name and what is our database name. This is our uh, SQL server name. Write down the database name. Write down username. Create a SQL connection. So our connection is ready now. So let's see. Select the table in which we have to insert the data. So in our case, it is persons. So it is showing now all the columns of the person table the table here you can add whatever you are getting from the service uh, last name 
uh, first name address and city and then uh, after insert it will return the response back to the client so now your logic app is ready now so let's test this uh, logic app so this is your http endpoint copy so your logic app is ready now now let's test this uh, logic app with post operation so copy this url and go to the postman So content type is JSON. So this is a post operation, and I'm going to post this uh, JSON. So this I have posted to the logic app and I, I got the response as 200. Now let's see uh, whether it got uh, accepted or not. So in the logic app we can check from the history. So in the history it is showing success and here we can check uh, the all operation are succeeded now let's see uh, from the database uh, whether uh, it got saved in the database or not